What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Five Cool Mods. It's been almost a full week since the last episode of this. I've basically just been really busy and not had time to film the series, which actually is pretty time consuming to record all the B roll and do research on all the mods. With that being said, I am back now with Five Cool Mods, and since it's been a week, we had some time for the mods to marinate and actually get some pretty good ones. We have a nice balance of Xbox One and PC mods, so definitely look forward to that. But with that, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we do have the Calvary Revolver. So this gun actually is by Halgarth. He did make a shotgun mod called Halgarth Shotguns that I actually do use and it's in my modded survival playthrough. The Calvary Revolver is nothing special in terms of sound, although the actual gun itself is quite a bit of fun to use and there are a lot of attachments for it that are a little bit surprising. There's just a little bit more depth than you typically get with these kinds of weapon mods. There's tons of different barrels and receivers and all that kind of stuff. So although it's always gonna look like a revolver, you can customize it a little bit to make it seem at least marginally like your own. It also does have two different ammo options, so if you use the 45 version, it will be a 6 shot, but if you use the 4570 version, it will be only a 5 shot. Little touches like that I really like on weapon mods, and I think it's just a good addition to include that various ammo types is going to be doing a ton of damage on the 4570. All around, I really like revolver mods, it's always nice to touch and a little bit cooler than some of the pistol mods, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely download this one. So next up, we do have a Poisonous Dream. So this is that really iconic weapon. It's like a Kirkry or whatever. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Basically some kind of machete added into Fallout 4, but it also does have a Poisonous option. So if you equip the Poisonous mod, basically you're gonna see there's like a snake intertwined in between the actual blade, thus giving you a ton of poison damage. The model of the gun could use a little bit of work. Actually, let me correct myself. The model of the gun's pretty good. The textures are a little bit lower quality than you do wanna find. Nothing too bad, especially when you're using the gun you can't really notice it but on close-ups you definitely can see that difference the gun itself is a really cool mix mash of just kind of two different things i feel like it's very fallout 4 -y. even though there's no snakes in fallout 4 you definitely get that vibe with like this is just rigged together with the little poisonous snake on top it is very usable doing a lot of damage while filming this i have the max out version of the big leaks perk so just important to remember that but all around a very cool mod and definitely one we're checking out if you like some cool melee mods Portable jetpack. So I'm assuming you can guess what this adds in. Basically a jetpack that you can equip as an armor piece. There are a few mods that do that in the past. Basically, I like this one a little bit more than most of those. First and foremost, I think this one looks a little bit better. The way it's rigged to attach to your character and when you're walking around that little sway effect, I feel like some of the other ones don't get that quite right, especially some of the custom model jetpacks. I feel like they look a little bit weird when you're actually running around and all that. This one definitely gives you a bulky feel. It feels like you have a massive jetpack on your back. On top of that, and maybe some of you won't won't like this. Basically, you could fly as high as you want with this jetpack as long as you hold down the spacebar. So unlike the other jetpack with even no matter how much AP you do have, it'll kind of cut you off and you'll stop being able to fly after a certain little bit. This one doesn't have that, so you could just continue to fly up and up and up till your heart's content, and I really do like that feature. It's just a little bit different, fun to mess around with, and I definitely recommend trying it out because you could just get to some like crazy places that you never were able to before. Next up, we do have Sydney the Companion. So this basically adds in a brand new companion into Fallout 4. It's custom voiced, but not in the sense that someone recorded voice work for it. Basically, it's reusing some of the different voice lines in Fallout 4. Although it actually, at first glance, I was like, oh, that's going to be kind of dumb. You don't really notice it. When actually interacting with her, it definitely feels pretty custom, and I don't mind the reuse of the voice lines at all. The model itself does look really good. She's definitely meant to be a pretty companion, but not like a slutty version or anything like that. Just a normal companion that will follow you around. Around. She has some pretty good stats, and frankly, I feel like there's a severe lack of companion mods for Fallout 4, like good companion mods. This one's definitely pretty good. The companion is viable and practical, will hold her own in battle to a certain extent. She's just not going to run in and get downed instantly every time. And all around, just a pretty good companion mod that I haven't seen one of these in a while. So last but not least, we have Dave's Poses. So this is a pretty big release on Xbox One this past week. This is one of those mods that was on PC for the longest time, and I just was like, all right, this is gonna be one of the ones that's never gonna get ported over to Xbox, just because of the way it works, and a lot of additional work would have to go into it in order to get it over there. Well, fortunately, I was pretty wrong. Basically, Dave did port it over to Xbox, and basically the reason I said all that is because to use it on PC, you had to use the console and free camera and all that, but basically he made his ton of ways to use some of those features 
characters on Xbox and created different guns. For that reason, I am also showing his trailer as the background because I don't have an Xbox to show you how it works on Xbox, which is pretty different compared to PC. Basically, what the mod does is allow you to pose companions, NPCs, or yourself in a bunch of different ways for cool screenshots or just different poses or whatever you really want to do with it. I believe there are 225 at the time of recording this and he updates them pretty regularly, so definitely check out. You'll see some new cool ones every once in a while and a bunch of people will post screenshots of them. That's going to be pretty much it for this one though, guys. I do hope you enjoyed another episode of 5 Cool Mods. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Later!